All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Madoka Chan episode six. I don't have an even saved ball for the start of this episode, but as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. How many episodes of this does it start with her just buying food? <laughs> what did she not like about her? Expensive as hell for a muffin or? More butt buns. Butt buns. Hell yeah. Are you okay, Miko? What's going on? What exactly does she see right now? Oh, this one's creepy. Yeah, fuck that one. I'd walk in the op opposite direction too. Why is this one specifically haunting her? Oh, we get to see how she wakes up. Oh no. You might be late for school. She has so many of these rabbits, bro. Jesus. Oh my god. That is a lot for the morning. 9am? Is it a school day? Probably not, otherwise the mom would be shit screaming at her. What's going on with her? Is something haunting her? There is definitely something following her that the dog can see. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's this one again. What is with it? <laughs> what is this aura specifically that she is giving off that makes him so attracted to her? Oh shit, if anything touch- if any of the ghosts touch her, this- That is interesting. How is she hungry already? Oh my god, this girl can eat. Well, and when she eats more, she gets a bigger aura? What the fuck? Why do buildings like this just exist in these random neighborhoods? Like, fucking knock them down. <laughs> Well, she's probably the most safe, safe, you know, person to go in these kind of places. She can't see the ghosts, and apparently she, she repels them, so. What is with this ghost? I want to find out the story behind it. Oh, wow, it doesn't even have to touch her this time for this to happen. <laughs> oh. Completely ignore the situation and just give off this happiness aura. I hope the dog's okay. Or like dying or something. It should be the dog. These things can't interfere with much. Definitely not her. That's a big fucking dog. <laughs> I was expecting like a little tiny thing. And she carried the dog. Bro, she's strong as hell. Yeah, for real. That's what I said. <laughs> Oh, he did a good thing. Or she's going to show up to Miko and she'll be like, never guess what I did today. Or well, then Miko's going to see her and this fucking thing is going to be looming over her. Oh, what's going to happen? This thing is massive. What the hell? <laughs> she got herself into some shit today, bro. <laughs> She's going to a shrine. Is she going to try and exercise this thing or get it away from her? The thing is, can this place deal with it? Yeah. I'm curious. See if it's kind of a good ghost or a bad ghost? It seems to be just using her to kind of feed off things that... ...go near her. This is an old shrine. Usually shrines are like... ...better taken care of than this, aren't they? What the hell? Oh, okay. It was just... I thought there was something stopping the coin from going in then. Oh, that's why she put 500 yen in. Or she needs to learn how to exercise these things. She can't go on like this forever. What the hell? These ones seem different though. 
Mibli movie. <laughs> I don't know. These look like ones that are maybe from this shrine or something. Oh, shit. Yeah, these are the ones that you pray to, I think. Demon the way. <laughs> oh my god. So you've only seen Tororo. <laughs> Bro. The f she's here watching this right now. With Hannah not knowing what's going on. Where they have like foxes. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you did just pray to them and you gave them a hefty donation. Oh, shit. You need to... Oh, what the hell's coming out of them? You need to get Hannah to, ac like, accidentally touch it. She can't even see the light because this thing's blocking it. As soon as Mika realizes that Hannah can, like... Ooh. Now this thing is a god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is a scary ass god though. <laughs> so whenever she looks at that photo, that's what she's gonna see now. I mean, you were never really in danger. What the hell are they saying? Three times? What? What does that mean? She's even more terrified by what could be a god than these actual ghosts. <laughs> oh, so this is why. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I thought it was just because of the price. All right, so that was Madoka-chan episode six. Uh, I think that was a really cool episode. It was interesting to see the Hannah's ability to kind of, I don't know, damage these things. I suppose I wouldn't really say repel is the right answer because she seems to seems to be kind of drawing them to her. Um, but then obviously when they actually do touch her, it's like she is damaging them. Although this is the first episode we've seen that, as there were previous episodes where they were kind of touching her and fondling her. Um, but nothing was happening there. Maybe it only works on weaker spirits. I'm not sure. Um, but I thought we were just going to learn more about that ghost that was kind of following around. But it was likely just that uh, it was just following around as a means to, I don't know, get others drawn to her and be able to eat them and him grow as a spirit. I don't know. But it was definitely interesting to see this kind of other side of things with what could have been gods, as Miko was kind of describing it. Um, and seeing, you know, them kind of help out. I'm not really sure what they meant by three times, but, hmm, I don't know. Interesting to think about. Uh, maybe in the future, even though Mika was terrified through all of it, um, she might just come to more shrines and just, you know, make a little donation, say, there's a, you know, there's a ghost here, there's a ghost here, there's a ghost here. Can you sort them out? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, overall, a really good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.